So hello and welcome back. In today's video lesson, we are going to be practicing some of our painting techniques by creating this little mini painting together of a sunset silhouette situation. In our previous lessons, we have learned how to mix paint in isolation and we did our color wheel and our tints and shades. Last time we tried out some um, techniques. We did six techniques. Today we're gonna to be practicing with just these two, the wet on wet blending and the wet on dry cutting in techniques to create this piece. I'm gonna break this up between two videos. This video today, we're just gonna tackle the um, yellow and orange and red sunset situation. And then we're gonna let it dry overnight and then we're gonna come in and do the black silhouettes by cutting in, doing a little wet on dry. All right. So in this lesson, in this video, all we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the entire piece of paper using that blending technique with our two colors. You can see that I'm set up here, ready to go. For this lesson, you will need your palette paper, palette knife, your brush, something to write with to write your name. You're gonna need a significant amount of yellow paint and just a little bit of red. You're gonna need water, and some paper towel to get started. You're also gonna need something to paint on. Today, we're gonna to be using just some plain drawing paper like we did for our techniques. So now's a good time to go ahead and pause this video, get set up, and then we can get started together. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna keep these over here. The first thing I want you to do is to grab your piece of paper and I want you to go ahead and get your name really big right in the middle and the period and then you're going to turn this over and we don't really need our knife beyond taking our paint so I'm going to put that to the side instead I want you to decide in which orientation you want your picture to be so either you're going to have a landscape going in this direction right horizontal or you can turn your paper and do a vertical sunset if you wanted. If you needed more space, that's fine, but you sort of need to decide now because based on which way your brush strokes are going, um, you want them to mimic the way your paper is. So if your paper is up and down like this, you're gonna take your brush and go back and forth in this way. If you want your silhouette and your composition to be in this format, in landscape instead of portrait, this way, you need to make sure that your brush strokes are going in this direction. Now I'm gonna show you the most basic way to do this. If you wanna jazz it up in any way, like I added pink here, I guess, please feel free to if you have that content knowledge. Otherwise, just hang out with me. Uh, I promise it'll come out looking cool. I'm gonna make my composition this way, but it's kind of hard to put my arm back and forth in this direction. So I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm gonna go up and down. That's a little bit easier for my arm to do. Now, as you know, red is powerful and yellow is a little bit less so. So I'm gonna use a lot more yellow and just a tiny bit of red. Otherwise, my whole thing is going to be red and I want a lot of the yellow to speak through. So I'm gonna grab some of my yellow here and I'm gonna start to paint back and forth. And while that's wet, I'm gonna streak in some, see how, see what I mean? So powerful. So I'm gonna actually scoop up some yellow, bring it over. I'm gonna paint this back and forth. Grab an even more yellow, trying to extend some of that. And it's okay to paint on um, the edges. At your table, you should have a piece of paper, like a placemat underneath you. I don't here, but I'm gonna wash my table as soon as we're done. But do you see how I like did this right in the middle? I'm gonna sort of streak that through there because I want this to really extend all the way from one side to the other. Now you're gonna notice that because your paper is rather dry, it's paper, <laughs> um, that it's gonna soak up a lot of the moisture from this paint and it's gonna dry right away. So a good way to combat that is to add a significant amount of paint and to work quick. The quicker you can work, the better off. I want to cover up any of these like ways that I'm stopping. I really want it to extend all the way past my picture. So I'm going to bring this all the way. All the way down. 
And then I can streak in some of that red. Look how, look how powerful. I just grab a tiny bit, sort of dry brushing that through and then adding yellow to extend it. I'm gonna keep adding yellow here. Streaking some of that red, uh-oh, that was a lot. We'll see what happens there. <laughs> Grabbing a lot more yellow to extend that. Pull that through. I'm telling you, that red is intense. It's a nice little spring bird here. Bring this all the way down. And I want to mess that up. That's too much of a good stripe. So I'm going to mess that up. I'm going to do this. And then I'll smooth it out. I don't know if that worked or not. <laughs> Grab some yellow. Pull this all the way down. Covering the entire thing. Oops. Okay, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do today. That is it. <laughs> we need to let this dry. It's only gonna take a few minutes to dry. So keep an eye on it, all right? Maybe at this point you wanna start to practice your silhouettes. Maybe you need to find your own reference. Not in this video, but in the next one, I'm gonna show you how to do this silhouette in particular, but you don't have to. So while you're waiting for this to dry in between videos, find some inspiration for yourself. Find a reference photo that you wanna use for a silhouette. Maybe you wanna grab some extra paper and try it out, right? Give it a go, make sure it works and that you like it before you, um, go ahead and paint. If you wanted to, remember my composition is going to go this way. If you wanted to create, like in this one, a sun, um, you're going to want to put it somewhere in the composition itself. Don't do a little corner sun for me. Give me an actual circle somewhere. And now's the time to do that while you have so much yellow. So a really good way, I'm not going to add a sun to mine, but I am going to show you. Let me grab a piece. I'm going to show you what that looks like. If I take this, it's going to be mixing a little. But if I load up my brush in a color, I can take my brush and sort of push it down and I can turn it to create a nicer circle or oval. Whoop. Right? I can sort of do that. If you wanted a sun, the inclusion of a bright yellow sun or with some white, maybe just white by itself is really nice, right? I'm gonna do that again so you can see. Um, maybe I'll do it in red so you can even see it better. What I did here is I took my brush, I sort of flattened it out, and then I spun it in a circle. Oh, that one's not as good as the first one, but practice makes perfect, right? There we go. And then maybe I could put a mountain over top, kind of like I did here to cover up something like that, right? So you want to do sun? Today's the day. Um, I'm going to leave the sun out. So in that case, I am done for this step. Go ahead and wash your brush when you think you are done. And thanks for hanging out here in my little sunset world. I'll see you in the next video to do our black silhouette.